hello everyone you're welcome back again to the afro cooking channel thank you so much for tuning into this channel and today i will be showing you how to make suya african suya you know in the oven at home you know it is something that is widely eaten you know in countries around africa so i will be doing this so I will be doing the suya with beef. So this is a piece of beef that I bought and I will be cutting it myself into little chunks. So I will go ahead and cut it into nice little chunks. And what happened is I had to put it in the freezer so it could, you know, become icy and hard. Then in that way, I'll be able to cut it in the way that I want, you know. If I didn't put it in the freezer, it would be so soft and I won't be able to cut it. So for me to be able to cut it, I had to put it in the freezer. You can see now it's hard and easy for me to cut, you know, in the way that I want. So that's how I do it. I'm gonna cut it into chunks like this. And into little pieces like this. Yeah, so this is the beef. I have sliced it into little, little pieces. These are the pieces you can see. It's looking a bit thick because it's got ice on it. So by the time it um, the ice dissolves, it's going to be looking thinner. So when you're slicing it with the ice on it, don't make it too thin because when it dissolves and by the time you're roasting it, it's just going to fall off. So you make it a little bit thick like this so that by the time the ice dissolves then you still have the piece of beef to put in it so i'm just going to go ahead and season it you know i'm going to um, season with a combination of seasoning which i'll be talking about so while i'm preparing the suya i already have my skewers soaked in water i'm going to leave it here for over the night and I'm soaking it way ahead of time so that it can really soak in enough water so that by the time I put it in the oven, the skewers are not just going to dry up and get burnt. So I'm going to leave it here for over the night and I prepare my suya. Here I have a combination of seasonings. Here I have white pepper, suya, pepper, all proper seasoning, you know and all the seasonings, I will put a list of the seasonings I've used in here below, the description and box below. And I also have powder chili pepper. So I have um, a teaspoon of the powder chili pepper and a tablespoon of all the other um, seasonings. So I'm gonna go in and rub it into my soya. I'm gonna rub everything into my suya and really give it a good mix. Also, I've already put in a little bit of salt and a cube of Maggi. I'm not putting too much of salt and Maggi because the seasoning alone already has a form of um, sweetness or um, yeah, a form of sweetness. So if you put a, if you put a little too much salt or Maggi, it's gonna end up tasting, you know, too much. So I'll go in and mix it, giving it a good mix, let it really get into everything, every piece, so that by the time I roast it, it's going to be bursting with lots of, lots of goodness. So as you can see, the suya is well seasoned, you know, every piece is really covered with the seasoning so you can really you can really get that sweet taste and I also put in a little bit of um vegetable oil you know so when you're roasting it you give it that shine and from time to time also I will be rubbing it once I put it in the oven so I'll just go ahead and put it in a, either a clean film or a foil paper and wrap it up and put it in the fridge for tomorrow because 
I really want to roast it tomorrow, not today. That's why I had to do everything ahead of time so you can have enough time, you know, to for the seasoning to get in. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it, wrap it up here, and then I put it back in the fridge for tomorrow. So there you go, it's all set for the fridge. Oh my god, you can imagine how delicious this is gonna taste. I can't wait for you to get ready. So this is the suya, this is the next day. I'm gonna go in now and put it on these skewers, you know. I'm gonna put, go in now and put in the pieces on these skewers and I'll show you how it's done. So this is how I've put it on my skewer. You can see and because it's a big piece, I'm gonna just put two, two pieces on each skewer. So this is how you do it. Yippee! You can see I have nicely put the sphere on the skewers. You can see all of them nicely arranged on the skewers. Most of them are two two pieces each. So I'll go ahead now and rub some more or you know I mixed a little bit of seasoning, you know the mixture of seasoning, I mix a little bit of it with oil. So I'll go ahead now and rub it on this suya and I'll pop it into the oven. I'll put the oven on grill and I'll roast it on a very low heat so it can gradually take time to cook and get you know done. You can really get cooked right into the meat. You don't want your meat looking brown on the outside and inside is still hard to chew. So I'm gonna really put it on low heat so it can gradually get cooked from inside all the way outside and getting brown give you that nice soya look and taste of course of course and from time to time I will be rubbing in the oil seasoning to give it that shine and taste yeah so this is it yeah so this is the soya you can see it's getting nicely cooked and I'm grilling it at 150 degrees Celsius so it's really getting cooked inside so I'm gonna show you when it's all ready guys look at that the suya is ready look at my suya pepper on top of it you can see so I gradually cooked it grilled it at a very low temperature and it's actually really cooked you know it's actually really cooked so I'll just go ahead and have a taste of it this is the suya pepper Mmm, look at the meat. Look at it. Mmm, it's so lovely, guys. Go ahead and make some at home and enjoy yourself. Mmm, my god. Mmm, wow. Mmm, because it's really, really cooked and it tastes so good. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay connected to the Afro Cooking Channel. We'll have more recipes coming your way from around Africa. Just hit that like button and the subscribe button so every new recipe you get notifications from YouTube. And you also hitting that like button. You know, it's an education that you're interested in videos like this. And YouTube will get to recommend them to you and other people. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.